welcome. Thanks for joining us. The World Series on MLB The Show coming up. It's the New York Yankees going up against the New York Mets. John Chomby, Chris Singleton with you. A big game two in store for us here today, Chris. And the series started out like you might expect. The home side taking care of business in game one. But this game today is going to reveal a lot about what this series will become. Will it be a battle for six or seven games? Or will it be a walkover? Those are the questions that we start getting more clarity on after game two. I have a feeling it's going to be a good one, Chris. This should be fun. And we'll be back for the first pitch right after this. Just about ready to roll. And pitching in this game, Taiwan Walker. What do we need to know here about the right-hander? A really good outing for him last time. Scattered two runs, was attacking hitters, getting ahead in the count. Great performance. We'll see if he can do it again in this one. Okay, all set to go. Here's the left fielder, Andrew Benintendi. Ground ball to the right side. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. So a man on base to start the inning. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. Next pitch has popped up. Escobar under this one. Hauls it in for the out. That's and time now to check out the New York Yankees lineup. Now with their ace on the mound today, they're just looking to provide him a little bit of run support. And they'll see what they can do for him. Boop, you have to be really careful when you've got a guy like this on the mound for you to not become a spectator. You know that he doesn't give up a whole lot, but sometimes guys get a little too comfortable and don't have an urgency to score runs. You have to make sure you put him in a situation where he can get the W, but also you guys can cruise to the finish line and not have to worry about a comeback in the end. Nimmo to third, in there right. safely. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. Giancarlo Stanton at the plate. First pitch, not close. Into center. Nimmo settles under it. Makes the catch. Runner tags for home. And they'll score first. It's one zip. Well, he's always capable of losing one over the fence. He might have just missed it right there, but a good job driving that run from third. Matt Carpenter. Now it's Matt Carpenter. And the first pitch misses for ball one. I think it's huge that they were able to score right away. You're playing on the road. Stakes are high. Energy in the ballpark. And you help to quiet that down a little bit. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. And a pitch. Rizzo at second with two down. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Pick up a run on two hits. No errors and a man left. Bottom of the first. And towing to slab here, Garrett Cole. He touched the ninth inning his last time out. Really wanted the complete game. Didn't get it, but he did get the W. They'd love to see him pitch deep into this one again. Bottom of the first. Here's Brandon Nimmo. The wide to kick the pitch. There's a strike. Nimmo. And now the 0 1. And the pitch is outside. Ball one. 
Right hander kicks deals. And a count one and two. Down. And one away. Here's Starling Marte. Batting second. The right fielder. Starling. Marte. On a line base hit. Right there, does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, good. there are a lot of hits there. Stop. Now up to hit Francisco Lindor. Marte of the move. There's the ball. Throw to second. Ow! Usually when you see a team try to steal a base in the early innings, it tells you they want to be aggressive on offense. Try to force the defense to make plays and slow them down. That's exactly what they did right there. So we'll see if that caught stealing changes the offensive approach moving forward. On the ground. Handled by LeMayhew. Gathers and throws to first. Lindor retired. Play made. That ends the inning. And welcome back. Top of the second. And stepping in for the Yankees, D.J. LeMayhew. The second baseman. Walker back to work. And that misses off the outside edge. And the 1-0. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Bounced out to short. Lindor picks it up. Tosses across the first, and quickly one away in the second. Good arm side run to that Got same it. side hitter right there. Very the difficult to put that ball in the air or get through it. Just pours in on the hands. Isaiah Kiner Falefa up to the plate. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Nimmo racing over to make the catch. Batting it. The center fielder, Harrison. And now Bader up to the plate. First offering misses the mark. Righty to the plate. And a swing and a miss. That split is a pretty nasty pitch. Explodes out of the hand. Looks like a fastball, and the bottom just falls out of it. To the right side, and there's a hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Nimmo throws to second, and he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. Back here at City Field, here's a big power threat. Pete Alonso. Leading up. And the right hander back to work. The first baseman. Pete. There's a strike. Oh, the fastball from out of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Next offering misses, and that's ball one. Umpiring behind the plate for us today, Boog, is Mike Fillmore, and he is a good one. He'll reward pitches on the edges a little bit, but the main thing is he doesn't keep you guessing. Once he established that a pitch is a strike, it stays that way. On the ground to third, and foul ball. Yeah, Fillmore, kind of, I don't know, you'd say maybe an umpire's umpire, but really consistent, very fair. And the next pitch is way outside. The punch out there, and there's one down. Way out in front of that inside pitch there, just exactly the opposite kind of approach that you want with two strikes. You want to let the ball travel. Make sure you recognize it. Try to shorten up so that you can at least put the ball in play. Clearly fooled, but I think even more so, you question the two-strike approach. You know, with the shift on, hits right into it. On to first. Two up, two down. That exists. Two Second outs, base. base is empty. And now here's Jeff McNeil. And that one ripped into right, and that's just foul. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing them down. That one ripped right center field. Hits the fence. The throw in. Not going to get him. He's in there. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here, but you'll take that swing and that result every time.
Eduardo Escobar takes a strike there as he stands at the plate now. Runner at second, two down. Comes up empty on the swing, 0 and 2 now. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Mets strand one. They trail here, 1 0. Top half of the third inning. Here's Jose Trevino. The catch number 39. Walker back to work. And ball one. The wind of the pitch. On the ground, out to short. Sends it across the first. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Now batting. Left field. So the lineup flips over. Ben and Tandy up here. Scored the first run of the game back in the first after a single to reach base. That one pulled foul. Short hop liner handled it short. The throw. And Ben Intendi is out. The right fielder. And the batter now, Aaron Judge. Good contact guy, good defender. First pitch doesn't find the zone. In this situation, as the number two hitter, two out, nobody on, you want to be a table setter. Work the at bat, get deep, whatever it takes, get on first base. Judge checks his swing. Now it appeal to first. Didn't go. There comes an 0-2 to Judge. And fouled off. Next pitch is outside. And ball four. And Judge takes his walk. Boog, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Rizzo in now takes ball one off the plate. The 1 0. Fought off foul. Left hand batter waits and delivers outside. Judge leads off first with two down to the inning. Next pitch is outside. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. The pitch. Ground ball up the middle. The throw to first. Rizzo out of the play. That's out number three. As we go to the last of the third. Here's Mark Canna. There's a strike. When you throw a fastball by a guy like that, I imagine it's got to feel incredible. Look for him to throw it again at some point. And he'll two. And down on strikes he goes. Now one away. James McCann in now. Got a throwback. No batting gloves. In there for strike one. And the right-hander deals. Swings and fouls one off. Oh and two now. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. Two gone. Back to back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's that's really good. settling in that's and good. getting a feel for his pitches, right throwing them where he wants to right now. Nimmo. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Nimmo in the box with two gone. 
And it takes a look at a called strike. Next offering is in for a strike. All right, there's number eight, one away. The 0 2. Got him! And how about that? It's an immaculate inning. Well, he's saying who needs the defense? An immaculate inning. Three strikeouts, nine pitches. We just witnessed something really special. Out of the fourth, and here is Giancarlo Stanton. Leading off for the Yankees, the designated hitter. And he deals. Giancarlo Stanton. Rocketed out towards right center. Marte makes the grab. One pitch and one out. Man, he smoked that now fastball. That it's all Good over it. It's just frustrating Matt. when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time up, he'll find a hole. Matt Carpenter stepping in now for the Yankees. First offering is fouled off. On the ground, right side. Tosses the first two quick outs here in the top of the four. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Two outs, base is empty. Here's DJ LeMayhew. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yep, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy. But... Well, got to pause on that thought, as that'll do it for the inning. Go to Yankees, but they're on top, 1-0. Back here in Queens, John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Starling Marte. Marte. Strike one. And the righty deals. And a swing and a miss. Picks up strikeout number seven. Well, right now, he's in cruise control, autopilot, just dominating these hitters. It doesn't look like it's a fun at bat. And all of a sudden, he become in awe of this guy in the mound. Somebody's got to break this thing up. That's five straight strikeouts. Got to put a ball in play. And here it comes. Not close with that one, and it's one and one. Kicks and deals. Foul ball. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball, you have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Connor Falefa right there to make the grab. And there's two away. Now batting. The first baseman. Here's Pete Alonso. Alonso. In there, and it's 0-1. Well, in an 0-0 count, not every strike is a good strike for a hitter. I like the plate discipline there. Next pitch is outside. Kicks and fires. Left field. Benintendi is there. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. New inning getting started, and stepping in for the Yankees, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. The shortstop. Isaiah. The pitch. And a foul ball left side. In the air, right field. Marte glides to his left. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And there's one away. Now batting the center fielder, Harrison Bader. Harrison Bader stepping in now for the Yankees. And first offering is fouled off. Mm -hmm. 
pitch. On the ground to third. And Bader is set down. Now that the catch. Here's the Yankees catcher now. Jose Trevino grounded out his first time. Ground ball left side. Over to first. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Home half. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now it's the DH. Daniel Vogelback. The, the designated hitter. And Get first going. offering is fouled off. Vogelback. There's a strike. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Jeff McNeil stands now in. Back. The second baseman. Yeah. And that one fouled off. The next pitch misses, and now it's even one and one. Left-hand batter waits. Popped up first base side. Rizzo under it. Two down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Eduardo Escobar. Two outs, base is empty. Digging in, Eduardo Escobar. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. you got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That ends the inning. Nothing doing for the Mets. Welcome back. Top six. Now the left fielder, Andrew Benintendi. The left fielder. Andrew. A wind in the pitch. That one missed. And the 1 0. -oh. That one off the bad part of the bat, just a lazy fly ball. And out number one on the grab. The right fielder, number and now Aaron Judge. He's 0 for 1. And first offering is fouled off. And that's outside. One down, base is empty. And there's a ball. Two and one on Judge. Pitch misses. Ball three. Well, these guys have had a hard time scoring in this one. The guy out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. Hard ground ball, base knock. But when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come now into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like you did right there. Runner on at first with one gone. And stepping in for the Yankees, Anthony Rizzo. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Yo one. Now wanted one. No, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Here's a 1-1. One, one. And that one missing low. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead. Doesn't have to get away from the catcher, but if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, get yourself in the scoring position. Next pitch downstairs. Full count now. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. 
Up next for the Yankees. The First and second, one out. Giancarlo. Now here is Giancarlo Stanton. First offering misses the mark. Stirring in the bullpen for the Mets. Trevor May, the veteran right-hander, appears to be loosening up. Lugo getting cranked up as well. And a pitch. Light drive. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Runner tags up for third. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit him too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those blue hits to get a knock sometimes. So first and second with two outs. Down the third baseman, Matt Carpenter. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Two on, two outs. Swing and a pop-up. McNeil drifts towards it. And that is that. 8-9-1 scheduled in the bottom of the sixth. Back here at the ballpark, here's the left fielder, Mark Canna. Lady go. Fourth up next. And the it's fouled away. Mark. When a guy's throwing a lot of first Canna. pitch strikes as a hitter, you got to be ready to hit. Now, that's not going to help you get deep into his pitch count and into the bullpen, but you got to take what he's offering that day. Popped up. LeMayhew racing over to make the catch. The catcher, number 30. Here is James McCann. McCann. Next pitch has popped up. Cole makes the grab. And that quickly, two away. Up next for the bat. The Digging field. in, it's the speedy Brandon. outfielder, Brandon Nimmo. Nimmo. Rip, but it curls foul. And a foul ball. Next pitch inside. Going to count one and two. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Next offering is foul back. The wind of the pitch. Stays alive. Two outs. Fouled off. He was late. One two now. That's hard hit in the line. He's got it. And the inning is over. Top of inning number seven. DJ LeMayhew will get things going. The second baseman. And a pitch. Slider misses outside. The 1-0. Popped up. McCann has this one sized up. Makes the grab one down. Now batting. Shortstop. So digging in, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. Foul ball there. The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Line to left. Pulls up, and it drops for a hit. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of standing his mechanics. Next to hit, Harrison Bader, one for two. And first offering is fouled off. Oh, and now a wild pitch. And an excellent job keeping it right there. Connor Falefa, the base runner at first with one out.
next offering is way upstairs. And now it's filled up. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Batter for Leffa on the go. Next offering is foul back. At the belt and fires. Swing and a ball hammered. Left field. That one carrying. Oh! Harrison Bader leaves the yard, and they add to the lead. It's 3 0. He's so good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrists to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the loft and gets the home run. And here comes the Mets manager to the mound. Pitching change coming. Taiwan Walker will depart. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. The Mets with a new arm on the mound. Trevor May. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. Trevor May. Jose Trevino, the next to hit. He's built his reputation as one of the top framers in the sport. First offering misses badly for ball one. The pitch. Swing and a miss, strike one. Still only one out here in the inning. Check swing, he went one and two. Yeah, the one-two misses to even the count. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. The 2-2. Two -two. They say it went. Played the plate, and he's out. He tried for the inside the Parker, and he couldn't make it. Back to the top of the lineup, Andrew Benintendi stepping in now for the Yankees. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Right-hander kicks deals. And that one fouled off. comes a pitch that misses two and one ripped on a line and a base hit right there so he gets on base and keeps it going showed some really nice patience in that at bat worked himself into a good count everything was on time and flew it in that swing got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock those always feel good stepping in the long ball threat Aaron Judge really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field and a foul ball Ball in one now not the best swing that time from the first round pick. The pitch. And one and two. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Oh, that ball got him pretty good out there on the mound. He steps on the bag, and that is that. Thank <laughs> you. 
Another look at the long ball for the Yankees. It's now 3-0. And welcome back. Set for the last half of the seventh. Starling Marte up to him. And the right-hander back to work. Starling. Check swing, but he went too far. 1-1. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown oh, inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Next one just misses. And that is ball one. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. One gone here. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the, the same page right now. Not shortstop. Francisco. And first Enjoy. offering is fouled off. Righty to the plate. That one fouled off. Righty delivers. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. And the right hater deals. Stays alive. Here's the 0-2. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Judge makes the catch. And there's two down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little no, bit. Couldn't quite barrel no, it up enough to really drive it. Alonzo. Alonzo, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. Next offering is in for a strike. Tonight, his slider has been really impressive. I mean, tight spin. Seems like the hitters aren't picking it up out of the hand. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Third out. And the Mets go down. One, two, three. They trail in this. Taking over on the mound for the Mets, Seth Lugo. And his job is to collect quick outs and keep his team within striking distance. The line to kick the pitch. Rizzo, the next to hit, takes outside. And the 1-0. Fought off foul. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. That looked like a case of deciding to swing no matter what. That pitch was way up. Nice job of the pitcher knowing that this hitter's looking for something up that he can drive, but he just expanded the zone to his advantage. Next offering is fouled back. Left hand hitter waits. On the ground. Oh, great stop. Gathers and throws, and they get the out. Now that, My goodness, singing. That was a great batting stop, and maybe even a better throw. Yeah, this out is all about athleticism. I mean, this guy did a great job knocking it down on the dive, but he doesn't get the out without the cannon of a throw. That was just impressive all around. Stanton. Stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Ripped to short. Lindor picks it up. Fires across the diamond, and they take care of Stanton for the out. Now that two outs, base is empty. Matt. And stepping in for the Yankees, Matt Carpenter. For the fourth time tonight. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Two down, nobody on. And a curve misses outside. The wind of the pitch. That one off the mark, and it's 3-0. 
Back to back breaking pitches away you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitchers afraid of you that he doesn't want to challenge you so I think the confidence level is raised right here. This to center field. And that'll do it. Yanks held in check. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. And now the DH, Daniel Vogelback. First pitch, and he just misses. Definitely a frustrating day for the offense. But when they look at it, this guy's had his best stuff. Painting the corners, working on the edges, and changing speeds. Just a difficult one. You tip your cap. The 2-0 is in for a strike. In this situation, you expect the batters to be a little more patient, possibly take until they get a strike. With that, you don't want to miss your opportunity to get ahead early in the count. He did right there. Next one misses, and the count's full. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff wall. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Now it's the second baseman, right. Jeff Number McNeil. Four. Second baseman, Jeff. That one's in there on one. Some guys are just more confident they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Out towards left center, Bader glides back, makes the grab, tracks it down after the long run. And there are two outs. Every day now during batting, batting practice, the these outfielders baseman. get about and 10 Morgan. minutes of balls and in the Escobar. gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfect. Escobar in the box again, takes the strike. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. And here it comes. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Mets go down quickly. They trail it here, 3-0. The Mets with a new arm on the mound, Drew Smith. The offense will need to be ready for the breaking stuff. He's got a great curveball. D.J. LeMayhew to start things off. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And he deals. Swing and a miss. The 0 2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And one out now. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball now the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Now it's going to be Isaiah Kiner Falefa. And the first offering is not close. Action in the Mets bullpen. Tyler McGill preparing to come on if needed. Kicks and fires. Now fly ball to right center. Nimmo racing over to make the catch. Two outs, base is empty. And stepping in is the speedy Harrison Bader. First pitch, not close. Liner caught it second. 8 9 1 2 up in the bottom of inning number nine. Yankees three and the Mets nothing. Well, as Chapman comes in to take over, he has a great slider with tons of movement. Last chance for the home team. Now the left fielder, Mark Cannon. The pitch. The left fielder. That clips a corner. Well, in this one, the offense has sputtered. Somebody's got to find a way to get on, keep the line moving, and manufacture at least one run. Then maybe you get two or three. LeMayhew gets it to first. One up, one down. 
The catcher, number 33, James McCann. And now the catcher comes up to him, James McCann. And McCann fouls it off. Here's your one. Bounce to the left side. Connor Falefa collects. Zips it to first. And they're down to their last out. The center field, number nine, Brandon Nimmo. Back to the top of the Mets order. Here's a speed threat, Brandon Nimmo. First offering misses badly for ball one. Left-hand batter waits. There's the strike. Well, so many hard-throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that guys have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. Just pumping gas out of the bullpen. So hard to play catch-up. Kicks and deals. That one the other way. He's got it. Ball game. The Yankees secure a big road win in game two. They even up the series before heading home. Great pitchers duel in this one. You get to a certain point where each pitcher is trying to outdo the other, go a little bit deeper into the ball game. And for these guys, it really came down to a few key at bats. This was a fun one to watch. Not a ton of offense to chat about as we look at the final numbers, but this was a good one. Yeah, it was a low-scoring game, Boo, but sometimes those can be the best, especially this time of year. A shutout in this one, 3-0 our final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long.